little introduction from me. I'm Stuart Baxter from, from Scotland, uh, Microsoft MVP in business applications since June. I do blogging on, on a LinkedIn blog, What's New in Power Platform, community super user since January, and I am passionate about finding simple solutions to complex problems. And some LinkedIn details there as well. Uh, why won't you go to the next page? Here we are. Yeah, our problem. There's various different interfaces that exist for managing the different aspects of Power Platform security. So you would go into one interface to assign security roles, another one to add users to teams, another one again to add column security. All of a sudden you've got five or six tasks to do something that should be quite simple, like onboarding a new user. Traditional IT teams are not always familiar with Power Platform, so if you're working with a customer, hand this over to them. Quite frankly, they're going to be scratching their heads and saying, "What? why are there all these steps to do something so simple? And as I touched on earlier on, Power Platform has many different components for security. Our solution, simplify your security using Entra ID groups and a Canvas app. And straight into our demo. Give me two seconds and we will tab over to uh, this one. And here is our solution here. Um, doesn't look particularly fancy. It's all just built using modern controls just for simplicity. To bring up here, we've got our team. Let's go for another group. We can see the security roles assigned, the column security profiles, in this case none, and which users are part of this team. I want to add an extra security role, just click edit. And a nice little sidebar here, and we can add in bot contributor, for example. And that will update live as well. And we'll see over here bot contributor in just a moment. Should be available there. Quite old demo gremlin there. Not quite behaving, but we'll have a wee look at that in a bit. Um, again, column security, just add in whichever ones you want. Nice little search on here. And most importantly, users as well. So really simple for users to use. If you hand this over to someone who's not familiar with Power Platform, as long as they know what a security role is, what a column security profile is, and what a user is, they should be able to work this out quite easily. Um, Backend stuff, as this is a super simple solution, there's not anything fancy in here. Our edit buttons here. Basically, all these do is update a context variable to make our sidebar visible or not. Within our sidebar items, our on check, we're using really simple out of the box Azure AD connectors. Add user to group here for our users. If we go. Home security, even simpler than that. We're using me, simple relate or unrelate for on check and on uncheck. So, really, really simple connectors, nothing fancy in here whatsoever. And I feel like that really it achieves the problem that we're trying to solve. I um, appreciate that was a very, very short demo. Does anyone have any questions? So we'll have the questions in the chat. If you do have questions, we'll put them in the chat. We just have to lock down the mics because we got so many people on the call. Uh, but that was excellent, excellent uh, simple use case there uh, that you're problem solving with, Stuart. Thank you. There's a link here, everybody. Put the link in the chat as well. This is already in the solution gallery, the sample solution gallery. Uh, so Stuart, thank you for sharing this with us. We really, really, really appreciate you taking the time and also the fact that you put it up in a sample so that others can benefit by downloading that sample and learning together. Thank you very much. Appreciate that.